Good morning world! It's Malu here at Travel Blogger. Today, I'm going to take you to Mission Espada. It's the fifth of my five San Antonio Mission series. The San Antonio Mission is a national historical site and the only UNESCO World Heritage Site in the state of Texas. It comprises of five mission sites with the following chronological order of establishment. One, Mission Conception in 1711, Mission San Antonio de Valero, famously known as the Alamo, in 1718, Mission San Jose in 1720, Mission San Juan and Mission Espada, both established in 1731. These mission sites are the Spanish uh, frontier established by the Catholic religious orders not only to convert the local indigenous people but also to introduce religion so they can learn Spanish culture and also to learn how to speak and write Spanish and Latin so they can assimilate themselves into the Spanish culture and became Mexican citizens. Mission Espada is actually the very first mission established by the Spanish, Mexican, and the Texas um, government. It was, it was established in 1690 in Weches, Texas as a buffer against the advancing French military into the uh, state of Texas. It was named San Francisco de los Tijos by early 1700 when territorial acquisitions and expansions has been settled and borders borderlines has been established. The Mexican government, Spain, and the Catholic religion moved the Mission Espada in San Antonio area and renamed it as San Francisco de la Espada. I did some research of uh, why it has been called San Francisco uh, de la Espada. It, uh, the Catholic religion have 88 uh, saints named Saint Francis. The most famous is Saint Francis de Assisi and only one uh, Saint Francis that refers to a sword and that is Saint Francis de Sales who carry a sword and a scabbard in the in a shape of a cross but it wasn't really uh, mentioned that this mission mission espada is named either Saint Francis de Assisi or Saint Francis de Sales mission de espada is famous of the of their stone church and this stone church was established in 1756 but the front passage is the only significant of the original structure that still remains today and the area of uh, of the mission espada is very small and um that systemic big or huge farming both for crops and uh, livestock is not possible so the mission focuses on teaching the natives vocational skills like weaving um, blacksmithing masonry and carpentry and they also constructed an aqueduct or asikia system which is very significant for their engineering qualities and in fact this aqueduct is the oldest aqueduct that operates continuously in the United States today. So, if you haven't been in Mission San Francisco de la Espada, or now commonly called Mission Espada, allow me to show you around what to see inside the ruins of Mission 
de la espada. Mission San Francisco de la Espadas Ranch was Rancho de las Cabras, Ranch of the Goat, just west of present Floresville, Texas. Its archaeology may reveal the amazing account of the Indian vaqueros and their families who live inside this ranch and in the path of the Apache Comanche raiding parties. Here, the North Church Mission Espadas Livestock. Each week, seven longhorns were herded 23 miles to the mission where they were used for food, leather, carving horns, and tallow for soaps and candles. Inject vaqueros at the Spanish missions and the spread of the horse. You were in the exact same room. Wow. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So that room was a school? This was a school room until 19. Wow, okay. And it was a school here until 2005. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, and, wow. and then you kind of, you can see the old walls, mm -hmm. and then the new portion, uh -huh. right over there until 2005. Escuelas Spurs. By the late 1600s, the brick spur had gone out of use in New Spain, and the spur with the spinning model was used exclusively. Made in central Mexico, the finest spurs were covered with incised decorations and silver work. Rolls and heel bands changed in size and shape following the fashions of the time. The spur continues to be the symbol of horsemen in the American Southwest. And these are the spurs. This semi-arid land, nothing was more crucial to a mission success than a reliable supply of food. The promise of security and regular meals attracted those Indians who live near Espada. Arcajomos, Malajuetos, Pacaos, and Takamis into the new community. Products of the fertile croplands and far-flung ranches were safely warehoused in this food storehouse, the largest stone building in the missions complex. This used to be a church. This not a church? No. This used to be oh, a this, church. Oh, this, this, this stones here. The doorway, the church. The doorway where you now stand was once. For a few years, the entrance to the church, for those who live in Mission Espada more than two centuries ago, it was the portal to a new way of life. The sacraments and feast days of the Catholic faith established powerful rhythms for the Texas mission, signifying the seasons with celebration, ceremony, ritual, songs, and color. Mission Indians added to their ancient customs these new traditions that mark the great milestones of life birth, baptism, confirmation, marriage, and death. So this, where Tony is standing, used to be the old church. Now, that church that's standing there is still being used until today for masses. It's a work in progress. Restoration is a work in progress. And this is the church of the Mission Villa. Espada.
is the church of the mission is Pada. Defending the faithful, the last link in the mission chain and far from weak reinforcement, Espada was especially vulnerable to attack by roving enemies such as the Apache or Comanche. Just one squad of eight privates, played by a corporal and an officer, were on duty here. At times, only two soldiers live at Espada along with their family. Sometimes, even Spanish civilians from the nearby village of San Fernando were drafted to help. Experience had proved that for a mission to survive, star frontier dangers there must be constant, even if small military presence. Mission Indians learned the intricacies of handling flintlock muskets from the Spanish soldiers who guarded these walls, but they were given guns only during dangerous times when enemy reading was intense on this spot early pioneers of san antonio gathered in time of danger and also when they came to worship in the chapel of san francisco de la espada so this side here what did you say there uh, yeah there's a whole of that um fireplace Mission stones or orc, it's also called this stones or so called orc, is old and unstable. Help us preserve this legacy by staying off the walls. So do not climb the walls. Outside. 